In this video tutorial, we're going to go over how to rename customized columns in the matrix. Uh, if you haven't watched the other video tutorial, that shows you how to actually combine or create these customized columns with the Boolean operators. Uh, it probably would help to go back and watch that. So you can see I have the matrix open and I have a couple customized columns here, meaning I've taken the time to uh, drill down and combine some labels with and. So, you know, I'm looking again for any taxi or bus uh, instances that in this case have a turn and an east label on them, uh, turn and north, or turn and south uh, uh, in terms of the direction that they entered the intersection. Uh, you can see that the name of the column, you know, is informational. It helps because it gives you the group and the label name, but it's, it's a little long. So you can change the auto name or the default name of a customized column like this by doing the following. Right click or control click on it, go to info, and then uncheck the auto name. That's the default name. So if you uncheck that, watch what happens to this uh, white area in the top left. When I uncheck it, now this area becomes selected or selectable, and I can maybe customize this column name to something a little more tidy, like um, turn and south. And then you can see the change being reflected here in the column header of the matrix. And as an alternative uh, method of getting to the same end here, uh, instead of right clicking, I could also go to the I and turn off the auto name once that column is selected. Again, this white area becomes selectable and I could rename this uh, turn and north. 